Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing this evening? Today is Vlogmas Day 12. I almost said 7 again. I've got 7 on the brain. And uh, so it's time for ornament number 12. Now this one here is, uh, this was a free pattern on their blog. And I had a lot of fun making this one too. And it's real easy and it's real quick. It just took me a little longer because I made uh, a front and a back for it. But anyway, this is a gingerbread house ornament. <laughs> this is by Mooie and Friends. I hope I'm saying that right. And it is a free pattern on their blog. And it just called for one panel, but I went ahead and did another one because I wanted it to be a little thicker. And then I just put a little bit of uh, uh, stuffing in there. And then I did my own twist on the door. I uh, gave it a little doorknob. I did a French knot. And then I went around it with uh, green. I think it was green. Yeah, green. And then I went around the edge with some red. And then I added the green and the red to make it look like gumdrops around the roof. The frosting part. And I did French knots. And then I did the windows different. They just kind of whip stitched it back and forth here. But I went around, I went around it like this to give it like a window pane in there. But I think it turned out really cute. So I'll be adding that one on to the tree over there. I did it in uh, Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. Um, I'm thinking it was Toasted Almond. And this is the red, the green, and the white is a mainstay from uh, Walmart. But anyway, I'll put a link down below in the description box if you'd like to try to make one. It worked up really fast. This I used a size 5 millimeter hook. For the house and then for the door, I did it in a uh, four, size four hook. But anyway, okay, so the next thing I want to show you is a couple of uh, items that I found at the antique store. I don't know anything about them except they said they were made, I, I looked online and they said they were made in, the, not, in 94. So anyway, I got them and here they are. <laughs> Santa Claus wine goblets. I thought they were really cute. Now, I thought they'd be cute as a candle holder. And what I mean by that is I've got those little lights that you can get like at the Dollar Tree, the battery operated one. These don't work. They, I got them last year. I guess they've already died. But anyway, I have one in each one. And when you have them turned on, it looks like a little candle inside of it. So anyway... Like I said, I don't know a whole lot about them, except that online they said they they were made like in uh, 94, and so that's all I know. They're plastic, and uh, I just thought they were really cute and wanted to add it to my addition, but um, that's what I have there, and the other thing I want to show you is something that I made. It's really simple. Um, I like doing other crafts, too. And this one I made out of a matchbox. I uh, had a little snowman that I found at the Dollar General last year. And so what I did was I took some uh, fake snow and mixed some tacky glue with glitter and set it down in there. And then uh, put the glitter all around the back after I sprayed glue on it. And I had some uh, snowflakes that I'd picked up. But I thought it turned out really cute, and I got a little string on the top here to hang it on the tree. So it's just a little matchbox ornament. Really quick to make, and it was a lot of fun to make. I like making things like that, too. And there was a couple of recipes I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, I don't do a whole lot of baking anymore because I had to watch uh, what I started eating because of my health issues that I was having. But now that I'm on the right track, it's it's really, it's hard because, you know, I like eating all that uh, junk stuff. <laughs> and what I mean by that is cookies. And But at uh, Thanksgiving, I had a request for some uh, cookies. And so I went online and I found a couple of recipes. Actually, I found one then. 
and then I did the other one today and they are delicious and if you're looking for a really good cookie recipe the first one is called butter butterscotch chip cookies and then the one I made today is chocolate chip cookies and it's from the, the same person and it's on a blog called the salty marshmallow and these are delicious the butterscotch cookies I've had several you know different types of butterscotch cookies but these that I had I couldn't stop eating them and and even my husband was that way when he tried them so if you're looking for a really good butterscotch cookie recipe that is a that's a good one and I'll put a link to uh, her blog down below if you'd like to check it out and the ones that I made today yeah I normally eat like one or two cookies just to test it you know to taste it to see how it turns out and then I you know everybody else eats them because like I said I have to watch what I eat but you know Thanksgiving and Christmas I've been kind of <laughs> I've been kind of bad so that's okay I figure at the first of the year I'll get back on track and start eating you know all the healthy stuff <laughs> which I do love all the fruits and vegetables too but anyway I just wanted to share those two with you and uh, anyway I guess I'm going to hop off of here and get online and see if I can find another cute ornament to make for tomorrow because tomorrow's vlogmas day 13 anyway I hope you guys have a wonderful evening and I will be chatting at you soon mm -hmm.